Hello guys. Um, I'm going to put some lights on the situation. There we go. Um, welcome back to another art stream. Today we're going to be trying to finish off uh, this art of Egbert. I've got my flats done but I want to add some shading and I also want to improve this explosion because I think it looks a little it looks a little too clean compared to how he looks, if that makes sense. So I want to make it look a little bit more cartoony. Uh, right, so... I'm just gonna... Oop. That's not the car that I was after. The car I was after. I feel like we are uncomfortably close to. Uh... to some Egbert <laughs> parts that we possibly don't want to see here to be honest but hey uh, the light will probably be coming from up here right but it'll also be coming from above
people are pinging me in the middle of the stream. That's not good. Let me just mute that. I am gonna add more texture and scale this up but I just want to like add the shadows first because I obviously can't blend too much once I've added the scale texture I'll blend the scales right out again so that's my reason for why right now the skin might look a little bit smooth a little bit human-esque It's been a learning curve with me and Dragonborns because I'm not someone who's been particularly drawn to like drawing anthro characters in general. So it's always a bit of a learning curve. Hello Ren Dog and Emma, how are you? I hope that you're doing well. I'm all right. I'm all right. Just, uh, just gonna see if I can finish this. Ah, oh, if I do manage to finish it before stream time is over, I might do a couple of like little bonus doodles um, of other things to do with Oxventure, which have been requested of me. I apologise for the pinging. Hang on, I'll mute that Facebook tab. There we go. Apparently something's been said, sent on me. Oh, um, yeah, I said I'm fine. Um, I've, this week has been a week off for me. It's been a holiday week, so not really much happening. Um, just sort of helping, uh, Emily move some of her, get her stuff settled here. Get it all moved from boxes to places where it can live. Or moving the boxes into places where the boxes can sit for a while until, um, until they're needed again because obviously some of the stuff that she's brought with her is not stuff that we currently need so yeah everything's just about moved in now uh, it was a bit of a hassle um, but it's all done um, done and out of the way um, it's just a case of finding space for it um, and also possibly going to need to do a tip run and a charity run at some point later this week. But I don't think any charities are currently open and taking donations right now. So it might be that we just end up with some charity bags taking up space here. I did start this stream a little late uh, as well, but that's just because um, I got distracted because um, I ate up here because 
everyone else is having curry and I don't want to be sick. So hiding up here from the curry smell and lost track of time because I was watching YouTube nonsense. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. Um, it's just finding places for the bags because some of it is stuff that we're like, we don't want to put it in the garage because obviously, especially with the weather being how it is, the garage stuff in the garage is gonna get damp. Um, some of it is like soft, like it's clothes and cushions and bedding and things, and we don't want it to go moldy. I did have plans to start on the dress for you this week, but uh, what with all of Emily's stuff being in the extension, I've not actually had a chance to yet because um, the space that I would use to sew and do cutting and stuff is still full of boxes. But uh, I'm going to try and see if I can start on it by the end of this week. But I apologise to you in advance, Emma, if that doesn't happen. I will get it done. At least the tip is open, so we can at least take the stuff that's definitely just beyond saving there, and that'll be fine. Okay, thank you for the no pressure. Like I say, it will get done. It's just me finding time. Camévo, Nightbot. Yeah, it's just finding a charity bin close to us, you know? I don't know if they put the locations for them on Google or something. I've not seen many around. I think there might be one on the industrial state, though. Yeah. Me and Em were thinking that we might try and up into town and that later anyway so we'll probably do it then. Right. I need a bit of shading. Yeah, I'll have a look. Um, we'll have a look when we've got stuff properly bagged up. Um, it's all been a bit in motion sorting out some of the bags, so it's going a little slowly. 
but uh, you know how it is. You get unpacking things and you're like, oh my gosh, this thing, I haven't seen it in so long. Ah. Finding a lot of old photo albums and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's one thing we're trying to figure out right now is because, like, obviously we've got... We've sort of been coping so far with, like, only having half of Emily's wardrobe here at a time and now we've got to, like, find st space for, for summer things. D and D is going well, I think, with Emma. Um, I apologise <laughs> for disturbing you. Um, yeah, I think it's going well. Um, we've we're not very far into it. Um, we're, I think, exasperating our DM because we're basically instead of just like picking one or two side quests to focus on, we've just been like getting all of them. Um, which, you know, hey. Oh, that's good to hear. Um, but yeah, it's all good. Um, Emma's character in that D&D &D game is being a sneaky, sneaky person who's lying to us all. Which I can tell as a sister because I know Emma's lying face. Um, but. Hello, Tilly! Yay, Egglebert is coming along. Are you legit. T Are you legitimately sat downstairs with my parents right now with this chat open? I don't know if she can hear me, to be fair. But I do know that the, the teeth. There's an issue with these teeth. There we go. Oh, shading, how I hate you. I've also realised that I've forgotten that he has some very large, um, prominent scaling on his 
face, so I'm just gonna really quickly grab the correct brush. Hang on. And just add them. Yeah, I'm not blaming her. It's fun. Um, you know, my character's also hiding shit. Um, it's just a case of I, as the sister, can tell. Um, I can tell at least when Emma is like doing that sort of obvious lying. Um, but unfortunately, my uh, my character is not very good at picking up on lies. <laughs> Um, her stats are not good enough to pick it up, pick up on it. So she's just a bit kind of like, mm, okay, well, seems legit. But I'm enjoying it. So that's what's important, right? It's just that we're all having fun. Next time you're over, Renee, we should uh, we should play again. Possibly Sans parents if they're not interested, but we should definitely play again. I think Emily has the uh, official D and D board game. Um, which might be slightly easier. Yes, do. Dog Lerene was fun. And Yolna. Yeah, no, that's cool. B. He f he feels that nautical call. What can you when you feel the nautical call? What can you do, really? You know. That's the pain I'm currently having in my current game. Is that I did all of this piratey world building, and then my players decided they didn't care. So it's currently sat languishing in a folder for the next game I run. When they'll be back again. Although, you know, never say never, they might decide to change their minds. 
Exactly, exactly. You just gotta find a decent a decent cure, man, it'll be fine. And yeah, I am using a bit more of an intense highlight than usual just because Egelbert is a metallic golden dragon. And so we want to. So, because that, I want to use a bit more of an intense shine just to get a bit more of that metallicness across. I've never played a Dragonborn. I should really give it a try. They are fun. Um, like, from what you can do with them. But, eh. Just not into the whole lizardy aesthetic, you know? Plus, like, it can depend on your DM what their lore is for it. Fine uncolored lines. Uh, do you mean the the dotted line, or because um, the dotted line is just the select? Yeah, that's just the select tool. I'm just using it because um, when you blend, um, it will just if you blend and you're not in a selection, then hang on, I'll show you real quick. Uh, it will just keep going out of bounds. So this select is just helping me stay within the lines um, because I'm using a sh blending tool that's a bit bobbly and so I find it hard to control it within fine lines consistently. Um, I can do it for like a small amount but not consistently over an edge so I tend to just use this just to like keep myself looking somewhat neat. <laughs> yeah, it's... I don't know how well it shows up on stream, to be honest, because I've had it show up weird in, like, screenshots and stuff. For me, it just looks like a little, like, the marching ants dotted line. Um... But I know that sometimes the marching ants line can sh flicker weird on a stream. Um, but it's the best way I know to keep my line art clean. So we're sticking with it. There we go. Bit of, bit of glow to them. I'm going to add a little bit more just here. Give him a little bit more highlight. He's got a very crocodile-y snout. Yeah, I think I'm very limited on what I can do about it, though, um, because I don't think there's a way I can, like, change how it shows up on stream, really. Unless I can. Sorry, I'm just going to really quickly look now, and if I can't see anything immediately, then... Uh, da, 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 da. Slice. Um, I feel like there is a thing in here, something about, like, selection, but... I'll have a look at it for next week if it's an issue. Oh, okay, if it's not a problem. I was more thinking like, oh gosh, is it like strobing or something? Because if so, then I was like, oh no, I don't want 
anyone to have like an epileptic fit or something from watching me draw my silly doodles. But if it's just curiosity about how it looks, then that's that's cool, man. Um, like I did initially when I started this show, I was like, oh yeah, I can totally explain my process. And then I was like rapidly realizing, eh, <laughs> I don't know that much. I'm a pretty, I'm pretty dumb. I'm not a very good art teacher sometimes, so. Like, I will happily explain stuff as I, like, if people ask me about them, but I will forget to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing unless someone, like, prompts me. Because I think I've... Mm, I think mainly just because I end up doing the same thing and I don't want to be repeating myself stream on stream but that's not necessarily great if people aren't tuning into every stream which I shouldn't expect people to. Like, I think I've explained my sketching method multiple times of the whole, like, the multicolored lines. Because, um, like, I did have a commission uh, recently, which I did. And for that, like, although I export the sketches and show them to the client so they can, like, say whether they like the pose and if they want any changes made and stuff, um, I tend to, like change the sketches to monochrome just because they're easier for other people to read but I'm like no I need them in bright primary hurting eyes colors because that's how my brain works and I need to color code my sketch levels I mean, also, I'm one of the, like, few people that are still drawing in Photoshop. I think most people have moved on to other programs by now or are using programs that are a bit more ethical in their monetary, pra monetary uh, practices and a bit cheaper. I'm fortunate that uh, my parents agreed to pay for this for me. Yeah. Although I think the the marching ants to show selection is the same for most art programs. Although I'll admit I haven't really experimented with a lot. I kind of was like, well, Photoshop is working for me and I have it, so So I've just kept using that. When I, if slash when I change computers and can't use this license anymore, then I'm sure I will have to swap um, to another thing. Yeah. I've heard about that one. I've heard about like a lot of people I know use like Psy or Clip Studio Pro or Paint Pro. There's a lot of different options. I just use the one that I have and I'm comfortable with, um, which is out of date Photoshop. 
But it works, so... I mean, fair. Um, like, unless you have an interest in, like, like, I absolutely would not recommend dropping money on Photoshop unless you're someone who does, who is, like, serious enough about art to drop serious money and even then I would say that there's a lot of free alternatives that are just as good for this sort of art stuff so I mean people do manage to do like perfectly good art in um, PowerPoint and do perfectly good art just with geometric shapes man um, although I will admit I'm firmly of the opinion that art is something that is Art's not solely a product of talent, if talent is even a thing. It's mainly a product of, like, if you enjoy art and you keep practicing at it, you'll get better at it. And that's the same no matter how late you start. As long as you keep practicing at it, you'll improve and get better at it. It's just, you'll only get better at it if you want to. So, you know, if you don't enjoy drawing, then you're probably not going to end up being very good at drawing because you won't draw because you don't like it. Quote a great man, you think I came out of the pussy drawing Mozart. Although I don't know if that reference is going to go down well, but hey ho. Uh, da, 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 da. Why are all of these claws janked? That's not good. Yeah, I mean, like, it's the same with, like, you and Emma. D you and Emma weren't, like, born, like, naturally knowing and being good at all the science stuff. You had to, like, spend time, like, learning it and focus for, like, hours studying the stuff that you do. And, like, you might have the sort of mind where that stuff clicks better. Like, I think there is such a thing as, like, you know, having a mind which is, like, somewhat creative and, like, you know, stuff clicks, but I think, like, certainly the technical art of drawing is something that anyone can do. And, like, the rest of it is all just iterative, I think. When people say, oh my gosh, that's such a creative thought, it's like, yeah, but it's, like, the third, it's, like, the fourth or fifth thought I had, like, for each, like, for this commission I just did. Okay, extreme doubt because I was there, <laughs> but I have literally known you since you were born, Emma, and I have extreme doubt of that. Uh... But yeah, like I know that like Emma gets maths and the science stuff faster than I do. She's always been better at like understanding that stuff than I am but if I like really wanted to understand it I probably could have put time in and learnt to understand it I just couldn't be bothered and that's on me you know sorry this is just coming off like an ingrained hate of people going oh wow your art is so good I can't believe it I could never do art as good as you my art is shit and it's like don't put down your own abilities to praise me for one and for two, you could totally learn to draw good. Just practice <laughs> and possibly take a class 
if you have access to one. But all that a class is going to be really is just more practice but maybe with a bit of guidance. Yeah, exactly. Like, and I think also sometimes it's just the right context will get you to improve the skill as well. Like, I really could not be bothered to try and improve my math skills until I started playing D and D, and suddenly I needed to be able to do dice roll, calculate dice rolls really quickly to keep the keep the uh, game rolling, as it were. And so I just kept improving and kept like keeping a mind on it and eventually it got to the point where like now I can do a lot of the I can do most of the I can like immediately look at a dice and be like okay that's the result so therefore it's this and like if you roll a bunch of dice in front of me I probably can add it up a lot quicker than you would expect me to um just because I've practiced at it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like there's a load of random facts that I've learned from like weird fiction books. It's something that a lot of people comment on me about is like that like I mean I guess our whole family have like a lot of weird trivia knowledge and it's just that like I read a lot of really weird fiction and like a lot of fiction authors will just drop random facts on you because they've done the research and they want to put their research in it so it doesn't feel like a waste of time so then you end up knowing weird things like uh like uh, i do know what a rat king is just because i read uh maurice and his educated rodents from uh Terry Pratchett and stuff. I didn't want to know what a Rat King was and I kind of regret having that knowledge now. It's cursed knowledge, but hey, it was relevant to the book and I wanted to understand the book because I was enjoying the story. Although maybe that's just um, part of the way my brain is made up because I know that I always find it. I guess it's just like finding easy ways to remember stuff because like I'm always someone who like remembers stuff much easier if there's a mnemonic or if there's a song about it. Like I could not remember the monarchs of England to save my life until Horrible Histories came out with the monarchs song. And now I know it. Somewhat. Still not perfectly off by heart but I remember a lot more of it than I used to know. Just be blended already, I'm fed up. Yeah, sorry for just going off on you about that. I mean, I guess it's just, it bothers me. 
when people are just like, wow, you're just naturally talented at art. And it's like, no. I have been like practicing art for years and it's taken me a long time to get to this skill level. I'm like, I can definitely show you art of mine that is awful. I'm not going to on this stream, but I def that, that art exists. Some of it on the internet because I can't be bothered to take it down. Yeah, art was one of my... I mean, I liked art at school, but I didn't always get good marks in it just because I liked doing art, but I didn't like writing about why I was making the decisions I was making. And that's a large amount of what they actually mark art on, is how well can you bullshit about your art, um, which I'm not actually that great at. It's like, I enjoyed English because I liked reading, but I didn't enjoy English because they constantly made me try to, like, write things <laughs> and explain stuff about what I was reading and why I liked it and I didn't like doing that bit I just wanted to read the book um, which like I get now that I'm older like why they were like you know oh you gotta think critically and all this sort of thing but still um, yeah I mean, I do remember liking science when I was younger because we got to do like experiments and stuff and that was fun. But um, I'm just not a very mathsy person in the brain. And so a lot of the stuff. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> um... Yeah, come in the stream and I'm just incredibly detailed, <laughs> incredibly detailed shading of a leg. Because, uh, blending. It's like doing makeup only works. You end up spending ages just there rubbing with blending tools going, if I blend it enough, it'll eventually look right and not streaky and not awful. Natural and flawless gradient. Mm. I'll be wearing a bracelet, that's not helping. There we go.
my gosh, please work, come on. Sorry, my Twitch was pinging at me for some reason. I don't know why. I fixed it now. It's the joys of trying to draw and run a stream at the same time. I'm still getting good, you know. I've been streaming for a year, but I'm still figuring out this whole both being your own sorting out your own channel and um, there we go and actually doing the thing on the stream but at least it's not as bad as the times when I've tried to do gaming streams and every time I've gone to like type in the chat or check something on Twitch the entire game freezes up because I don't know how to set up um, OBS so it doesn't do that Although, to be fair, that may just be the screen setup. Ugh. Whatever. My computer cries at most modern video games anyway, let alone trying to run the man's stream, so we'll stick with the, uh, stick with the art. especially since I I know it's possible to stream from a switch but you need like capture cards and all sorts of nonsense which I don't have and which I can't really justify affording for myself for something that I don't even do right now and might not even enjoy doing so Ooh, I'm just making it worse Stop being streaky, please. Just become smooth. Right. I need to catch up on Oxventure, or rather I need to catch up on Blades in the Dark. I've been like waiting to be in the mood for it. <laughs> Although I did recently watch, uh, I did watch the finale of the bug of Bug Snacks on Outside Extra, which was good. That game is weird. Um, I've done a load of YouTube and streaming there. Probably partially because they've been making me work more from the office, so I can't sneaky be watching YouTube videos <laughs> on my desktop while I work on my work laptop because I can't I mean I guess I could be having YouTube going on my phone at work but obviously I couldn't watch and also YouTube just eats my battery so fast compared to something like Spotify so I just end up listening to podcasts at work instead which hey ho first world problems I have a job which I still have a job and it's one where I can watch podcasts so I shouldn't complain too much
Ugh. What else have people been up to? What have people been watching? I've actually been watching WandaVision recently, which has been uh, my new thing. Um, although obviously that's taking a while because that one's coming out as and when. But it has replaced the uh, Mandalorian hole in my viewing schedule, which is nice. I'm enjoying it very muchly. I'm not as big of a Marvel fan as I once was, but I'm enough of a Marvel fan that uh, I know what I like and that's it. I'm enough of a Marvel fan that I'm familiar with stuff that WandaVision is based on. Um, mainly because I remember it being a thing that was going around for years of people going, oh, but they're not going to do it in the MCU because it would be too disruptive. So it's exciting. Um, although I'm not, I don't think they're going to go quite as bananas batshit as the comics go. Partly because they're missing some of the characters to do that with, and also because. Just, you know, continuity is different. And I don't think they can do. Um, but we'll see. Britain's best hope. Is that the thing that the bee, the bee brought out um, after they lost Great British Break Off? Is that the thing that Mary Berry does now? I watched like half the first season of that, but then didn't watch anything further. Uh, right, let's add some scaly, 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 scalies. Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. I think I sort of like watched the first, a bit of the first season, but it wasn't grabbing me. Um, but if it's good, I could always give it another try. I haven't really been watching much baking TV recently. I mean, aside from, you know, cake tube, but does that really count? Oh, <laughs> just overseeing everyone. That sounds really cute. Yeah, I should give that one a try. Oh, where's my scale brush? There we go. That's just a bit of scaling, just to add a bit of texture. But I don't know, I feel like I could maybe go a bit... It's like there's a fine line between scales and skin condition, you know? <laughs> there we go. Alright. Oh, and then I need to uh, do...
Right, and then next layers, which will not be as blended so I can get through them quicker. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think I saw like an advert saying that they were like doing a celebrity one. Um, I mean, I guess though that like the celebrity, like the normal people have to go through like a selection process, right? Where they get like picked out from like thousands of people. So I guess you would like expect to always get the, the people that actually know what they're doing. So I guess it makes sense that if you're just booking celebrities based on who's famous at the moment, you wouldn't necessarily get people that are good at baking. Although it's still not necessarily good. Scuffing. We've got these fingerless gloves to do. It's been interesting doing um, the Oxvent a lot because their clothing and that is so much more detailed than the stuff I normally end up doing on stream because I'm normally just doing people's descriptors and unless people have like given me a like reference with a load of fancy clothing or normally like just err on the side of oh it's they've got like armor on and that <laughs> I guess it's, I guess watching the celebrities fail is kind of more fun than uh, watching normal people succeed in some ways though, right? But I really don't want to blend this because getting the check was such a pain. I was just kind of like, why? Why on earth did you dress him in check? <laughs> My favourite of all of the uh, all of the clothing all of the clothing patterns and definitely one of the easiest to draw. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the same for all celebrity stuff, though, right? Because, like, I know whenever we watch, like, um, celebrity, uh, whenever we watch any of the celebrity stuff, like Celebrity Pointless or Strictly Come, Strictly, then you always know that there's some of the um, contestants who, like, they've just put in for, like, the memes. Although then again, uh, Bill Bailey was one of those, wasn't he? And he's actually done surprisingly, uh, su he actually did surprisingly well. If I recall correctly, I've not really been following strictly. I don't know. There is a TV in this house. I don't watch actual TV on it that much. I end up watching uh, Netflix and Disney Plus on it most of the time. I'm still mad over because there's a load of stuff on American Disney Plus which isn't on British Disney Plus and I want it and I'm paying for it so give me it please. I think my 
puts everything on this layer. Oh no, there's this strap. Tones because it's leather. To be fair, I don't think I should it. I'm gonna get this boy done and then we're gonna go back to the explosion and um, have another look see at it because, like I said at the start of this stream, I think the explosion looks a little, compared to how cartoony Egbert looks, the explosion looks a little too trying to be realistic and I want to correct that I just want to make it look worse <laughs> as per Hello, was there a fake camel toe in the chat before? <laughs> ah, of course, yes. The, the fake. What is the real camel toe? There is no such person. Rude, how dare she? Ah, what German? It, I did not think that Emma was receiving callers due to the current situation. I see. Yes, yes. Right. Zoom. I'm going to assume that these, um, like, this, like, black shirt that's under the chainmail is, like, leather. I'm going to assume that it's some kind of, like, leather undershirt because you don't want the scale directly on you. That sounds right to me. From my extensive knowledge about uh, armor. Of course, I completely know what I'm talking about. Although having said that, I do know the proper names for way too many parts, so hey-ho. That's what happens when you uh, make cosplays and want to know the correct terms to call things for fear of people calling you out in your Facebook post. just because I've ended up doing so much D&D art, I end up looking up... There's like... Like, some people with their D&D, they're just like, oh, I'm wearing the this armour because it's the armour with the best numbers. 
Um, and then others are like, oh no, I'm wearing this very specific armor that's based off this very specific historic armor set that you need to know all about. So it's that which I've given you like three references for. Or it's someone going, oh, well, it's they're wearing armor, but it's based off this like armor inspired runway look. <laughs> Which wouldn't actually work as armor, but here it is. Which, I, I'm not shaming anyone who takes either approach, by the way. Both ways are fine, as far as I'm concerned. They're all good and fun and cool. That's not quite what I want. Uh, where's the brush that I want? I have too many brushes, and I really need to, like... I need to make a new preset that's just the brushes that I commonly use. Ugh. Just to add that onto the ever-growing list of things that I should really do when I get time. I don't think it's any of these. Maybe I'm misremembering and the brush I'm thinking of doesn't exist. It might be this one. But I have done a thing on the wrong layer. Okay, uh, have a nice night and I will see you next uh, week when I will be doing some form of art. I have not decided what I'm drawing yet. Next time. And of course I cannot find the brush that I was just using again. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I do want to use this. I think I do want to be using the... Uh, for the highlight, I think I do want to be using just a soft focus. Right. Okay, that's all the leather. So now I just have the metal stuff. Oh, and I've got the teeth. I'll do that in a minute. Highlights, please, because we're doing metallics now. Now 
for the fun. Fun, fun, fun times. I should not be so used to drawing scales that I'm just like, yep, whoop, whoop, whoop. It's just layers and layers of the letter M. Me. I have a load of foam scales downstairs for cosplay purposes. I really should actually put those away somewhere properly because I'm not going to use them anytime soon. Boy, I underestimated how long this is going to take me. <laughs> we'll see whether I have time to do the other thing that I know. Certain people wanted me to draw on this stream, and I said I would if I had time, but it would be a very childish drawing. Maybe it'll be a watercolour style because those don't take me too long to do. I was scolded by a friend for lack of seal in this drawing, so I may need to draw a Mr. Seal Gaiman at the end of this stream to mollify them, and I think they also wanted me to draw a bin bag if I had time, but we'll see. They might come up, we'll see if they're going to those of you who are regular viewers will know who I'm talking about. We'll see if she comes up. I'll quickly check if she is actually. Out of the way, please, reference. That all right. I mean, it's just these little nibblers. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, and close. Selected. I'm getting tired. That's not a good sign. This is not keeping me the texture I want. Oh well. Just quickly do these. No, it's just to this. did forget to do was sort out these pearly whites so Just quickly uh, let's get this this shield sword.
I'll do that. Um, sure how well my attempts to make this explosion look more cartoony are going. Ooh. I like. we think of that looking a little more right with the way he looks Ooh. or no yeah yeah looking good oh new follower yep also Hello. Mm, I don't know if they're still here. Ah, attacking me. Obviously. What else are best friends for? How was your curry? Very needed. Curry and ice cream and laughing at Rick Stein. At who? Rick Stein. Don't know who that is. He's like a food. Oh, is he the very pretentious one that my parents have taken to watching recently? Yeah. He got he got out 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 pretentiousness by the guy that was running this cafe. It was very funny. Because the guy that was running the cafe was funny and was like more amusing than him. Hello. Yeah, they're over there just because they were getting in the way over here. They kept falling over. Yes, they do that. They kept like falling over into my food, and it's like, please don't do that. Um, behind you, on the top of the little purple dresser drawers, my headphones. What? Sorry. On the purple dresser drawers, my headphones. Oh, right, yes. Uh, oh, multiple about eight pairs of them. Chuck! I got one! Well, that could have gone better. Thank you. I think I'm nearly done, though. What do you think? Do you think I need to work this explosion more, or do you think I should leave it? I think we should leave the explosion. The explosion. Do you think I should what, dear? Leave it. Okay, we're going to leave that as is. I'm going to save that. And then we're going to do the quick thing that you wanted me to do. Oh, a wizard bin bag! I am. Uh, but I'm going to do him in a certain style, and I need to find the right brushes. That's not it, is it? 
Mystery and Brushes. That might be it. Sorry, I have too many brushes and I cannot keep track of what is what and where are the brushes that I like. It. I know it exists. So what media am I putting down? really quickly sketch out what I want to do because How's that? <laughs> I feel you need to write trash across the bag. And also make the hat worse. Make the hat worse? It needs sparkles. Right, it's, okay. It's a rinse wind wizard. Come on. Sorry, I, th I didn't realise he was quite that bad. Hang on. Well, I mean... We don't know, but let me let me redo this as black, and then I'll redo the hat. Give me a second. What kind of wizard would you have to be to uh, to ask the ox venturers to do something? Uh, point. Mm. 
Did I just drop? Oh, hello. Like that, Emily? Perfect. Does he need a face or is it fine? I still feel you need to write trash on it or something. On the hat? On the bin bag. Bin bags don't have trash written on it. Oh, or give it more shading so it looks more crinkly. Like that? Yeah. And blow him. This is just the worst seal ever drawn. Oh! I think his eyes are too far. How does its seal markings go? It's been so long because I do not remember. <laughs> what do seals look like? 90% nose.
Just like that, right? Mm hmm I feel his nose needs to be bigger. Okay. Like that? I think we're gonna call this stream here, yeah? Now that we've done the two arts that we promised. Um, thank you very much to everyone for tuning in and watching. Um, I am, I will be putting this up on my Instagram at mistmoon92 on my Twitter at mistanimations and on my um on my tumblr which is mist moon and on my facebook which is doodle moon art um next week we will be doing another suggestion um if you want to enter your own character in for this draw then follow the link that i've just put in the chat i am just going to get up the Where's my Google Drive? Oh, you're gonna pull someone. Yeah, I'm gonna pull someone. Ooh. I've just gotta get the sheet functioning, please. Um, I also need to move a load of your photos out of my um, Google Drive because they are taking up so much space. Um, Okay, so we are wanting a random number between 47 and 58. That is not generated. There we go. That is. 54 which is not showing come on Where's that hang on why is it hot from 53 to 55 that's not right Hang on, that's not working right, so I'm just going to re-roll re it. Give us a second. Right, there we go. And I'll figure out what's happening with that later. Uh, 52, which is Moose... Uh, sorry, which is Asa Fine Stitch for Moose. Uh, another Halfling Druid. Um, that will be... That will be fun to do. Um, so tune in next Wednesday here at um, between seven and half seven. I will start depending on how much on the ball I am and we will do that drawing then. Bye now. <laughs>